hello students welcome back so in the last class uh, we have discussed about that uh, operating system like uh, types of op different types of operating system we have discussed for now we have to understand what are the system calls okay that is your topic for today's class so to understand uh, these system calls uh, you need to understand little bit about uh, different types of modes operating system modes you can call modes here we have two different modes one is called as user mode okay and the another one is known as kernel mode okay kernel mode in the operating system so to explain this user mode and kernel mode it is very simple <coughs> to understand as you have the clear idea about the operating system which is the interface between user and the system hardware and software you can call so now as of now i have i have to type something how i will type i am seeing that window on the screen there is a edit option so i can type and it will be printed on the screen so this is known as a interfacing that how it works behind okay it has to use a hardware like a keyboard it has to use a memory which is inbuilt in our system for that whatever is available for the user whatever the user works whatever the user can do that mode is called as a user mode and whatever the system will do inside that is known as kernel mode in a very simple way if i tell you okay so now here we will discuss little bit about uh, two different modes uh, that is user mode and the kernel mode okay for now as you are seeing now the interface between a process and an operating system is provided by system calls this is very important point right here interface between process and operating system this that is known as a system calls then you can ask that question that is what is process now process is nothing but which is a program in execution you remember this point this is very important so this will comes later in the process scheduling but now for for this instant you understand that process is it is okay it is program in execution it means it is also a program but which is already in a execution that is we know that we call it as a process so if you run an, any of the software any of the program program and software we can use synonymously right here for this concept program and software because software is collection of a programs again so you can call any software as a program also for operating system subject okay so here process it is a program in execution now here system calls refers to it is system calls are the interface between between okay process and operating system our operating system say for example windows is there by using that windows operating system i i am going to run any programs like windows uh, ms word so between ms word and our operating system there is a interface between word and our windows those are known as system calls means to use any hardware okay to use any hardware from the operating system system has to call some important methods that is known as system calls to understand the system calls we have to understand two different modes one is known as user mode and another one is kernel mode as i told user mode is the refers to whatever the user can operate that is known as user mode and whatever behind it works that is kernel mode okay in general system calls are available as assembly language instruction usually system calls usually available in the assembly language instruction assembly language instruction in the sense it is a middle level language there uh, to understand system some calls will be there as you know in uh, file programming c programming file management you know uh, to create a file what you do file object that uh, that you will create okay the same way some methods will come here for system call those methods in the assembly level 
language instructions are there that you will understand for today okay they are also included in the manuals used by the assembly level programs system calls are usually made when a process in user mode requires access to resource it means that you you have to be very careful about it when a process okay requires access to resource it means that if any process is there uh, say for example uh, uh, you want to pay some some somebody okay upi payment you are doing there is a interface what it will ask enter otp but to enter a otp system has to access the resource there resource is nothing but your keypad or keyboard to access keyboard system has to request that particular keyboard that the shall i use it that is done by the system calls okay without keyboard you cannot enter anything right so what it will ask you it means what it will ask the system that i want to access the keyboard right now give the permission like that that asking process is done by the system calls okay here also uh, if any software you open or scholarship application if you are going there you have to enter your name address okay your uh, mars card anything so to enter that particular point what you will do you will enter with the help of keyboard but that is done with the help of system calls in behind in the kernel mode operation that you have to remember then it requires the kernel to provide the resource via system call that i have already explained then it requests or then it requests the kernel kernel means system there inside system uh, to provide the resource okay via system calls so here you can see the figure uh, there are two rectangular boxes i have made uh, that is one represents user mode other one is representing kernel mode okay fine okay there you can see in the user mode there are user process executing okay say for example uh, uh, if you switch on your system and you open any program like uh, say again i will take the example of ms word you, you tried to open so it is already starting execution so now what it will does uh, when it is started running it gets a system call it means if you are trying to access a keyboard so what it will do it has to get a system call that uh, it will re request a kernel that you should provide the uh, resource that is a keyboard so that system call will go to the kernel mode and system call is understood by the kernel and it will return back okay i will provide the resource that is keyboard you can use it so that is return back it will get so return from system call Th these are the uh, simple explanation about the two different modes in the operating system user mode and the kernel mode okay so now as can be seen from this diagram a process executes normally in the user mode until a system call interrupts this it means that uh, if you are uh, trying to open only any word art you are using or any insert shape or anything if you are not doing but you, you or if you open the word but you are not doing anything but it will be remain open state only but when it calls the system or when system call executes when it needed that resource to be used so once you started typing by behind the scene it will be regularly common process it is going on in the kernel mode and the user mode both are inter both are internally internally connected okay so then the system call is executed on priority basis in the kernel mode so there there will be queue in the kernel mode which resource has to acquire by the which process that is done with the help of the priority basis which some some of the higher priority will be there lower priority will be there based on the priority system call will be executed in the kernel mode okay after the execution of the system call the control returns to the user mode and execution of the keyboard process it means that uh, once the once user mode request the kernel to use uh, kernel to give a resource that is say for example keyboard so once it is returned back so it you can use that um, control returns to the user mode then user can use that particular facility okay in general system calls are required in the following situations when we require the system calls that some of the 
situations I have mentioned here <coughs> that is if a file system requires the creation or deletion of the file say for example uh, in this particular point system call is needed when file to be created or file to be deleted at the point at that point of time system call is required and if you open the file and if you started reading or writing that time also system call is there it means that fi for file management system call is needed okay creation and management of new processes it means any other program if you want to open or any other software if you want to run that time also system call is needed network connection also requires system calls okay. obviously network connections require the system calls this includes sending and receiving packets so if you want to send any data any data to the some other country or to the some other person that time system calls must be required so access to hardware devices such as printer scanner etc requires a system call i have taken the example of the keyboard earlier so that might be a system like printer scanner anything maybe okay some types of the system call will be shown here so those are process control system call is there file management system call is there device management system call is there okay next information maintenance system call is there communication system call is there so these are the types of the system call once again i will repeat process control file management device management information man maintenance communication here communication refers to inter process communication i have explained in one of the class that inter process means processes are communicating with each other means one process can communicate with other process that is known as inter process communication okay here these are the some types of system calls so now one by one i will explain that system calls right here so let me take system calls so i will write types okay types of system system calls okay among this i will take the first example as uh, file management system call i will take file file management system call okay so now here this is a system call it requires when you are wanted to get the access to the files uh, it may be creation of the file updation of the file deletion of the file anything may be there are some system calls are there so those system calls are known as say some of the system call i will write create create system call and the next one is um, delete deletion of the file there also system call is needed open already created file can be opened so there is again a system call and uh, close okay close so okay next next one is i may write uh, read okay write okay uh, state state of the file whether the file is open state uh, readable state not readable state that is uh, called a state and unlink unlink you just remember these are the system calls so get file attribute get file 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 attribute okay these are the system calls among file management system call what are the file management system calls here create create in the sense create a new file and open that file okay delete means delete a file open it means open the file which is already created and close close the file it means file which is no longer in use that we can close so that is system call close read read from the file write write to open the file state get information about a file that is the state so unlink it means remove a file from the directory 
directory should be there but file only removed from the directory that is remove or unlink get file attribute and set file attribute also there get file attribute and set file you note it down get file attribute and set file attribute it means attribute include file name file type etc file name means uh, abc.doc doc is the extension or the type of the file abc is the name of the file like that you can say okay this is all about uh, file system call okay the next system call i will take uh, that is okay so that i would like to take uh, is uh, inter process communication or you can call communication also so i will mention it as inter process communication okay here uh, many system calls will come like create message queue create message queue okay then next send message send message receive message okay then uh, one more is there close connection this is regarding communication create message queue create a queue to hold a message for that create send send a message which is created okay receive message and close connection these are the interpersonal communication for this we have methods like one some example i will write here say for example like pipe pipe is a system call in a interface or interprocess communication pipe is there shm get is there okay shm get don't worry about this pipe shm get means these are the assembly level instructions are there for creating a message queue creating a file like that okay so these are also system calls for interprocess communication like this next uh, process management system calls are there process management process means program in execution for that process management system call okay here create a process is there terminate process is there wait fork end abort load execute these are the system calls i will write create process okay terminate the process means any software if you open that is create so open software can be closed that is terminate and wait wait system call is there fork means create a child process i will explain about this later okay end this is also system call about in between only you just forcefully to close the opened process that is about load load into the memory so execute execute is also a system call and allocate and free these are also system call allocate means memory can be allocated to that particular process and make it free these are two system calls here okay for this process management system call you little bit understand about system call again so that i will explain means system calls provides the interface between process and operating system i have told i am again dealing with the system call right here not only particular process management system call so whatever i have mentioned here these are the process management system call okay again i am recalling the uh, original system call definitions like system calls provide the interface between a process and the operating system a system call is an instruction that generates an interrupt that cause operating system to gain control over the processor okay system call works in the uh, some way like first program executes a system call instruction the hardware saves the current instruction and to the register okay that is called as a psw register program status word register we can call like this system call will be registered okay so now this is all about process management system means to manage a process there are some system calls those system calls which i have right written over the screen right now okay this is all about process management system call and next one is input output device system call okay what are those 
इनपुट आउटपुट डिवाइस सो आई विल राइट आई बॉर ओ सिस्टम कॉल इनपुट आउटपुट डिवाइस सिस्टम कॉल हियर टू रिक्वेस्ट एनी इनपुट डिवाइस लाइक अ की बोर्ड ओके सिस्टम हैज टू कॉल द कर्नल दैट इज रिक्वेस्ट डिवाइस रिक्वेस्ट डिवाइस ओके नेक्स्ट रिलीज डिवाइस इफ इट इज ऑलरेडी इन यूज so if you are not uh, no more longer if you wanted to use that so you can release that release device okay read means readable and writable will be there read and write i will write okay like uh, if you put a usb like a uh, pen drive so if you want to read the data from the pen drive that system call is needed that is that is also input right so read and write if you want to save anything to the pen drive that is write operation if you want to open and read that is read operation that's all and state these are the system call to input output that is the input output system calls or input output device system calls also you can call so i will write device device means any input device or output device is using for that we need a system call that is input output device system call here state i have written state is nothing but get into about an io device or whether this is a working condition or not working condition that is the state of this device okay so now i will take the next uh, system call so i will write that is information maintenance information maintenance sometimes i may write uh, wrong spell because uh, if you are typing in that mode uh, that fast time i may Write a wrong spelling. You can adjust it. Okay. So here information I have to write. So now here also some system calls are there. Get time and date. This is the information, right? Get time and date means that system call will help you that to understand whatever the information. It means it will give the information about time and date. That is get time and date. Next, set a time and date. You can set time. and date to your system okay your pc that is that system call is set time and date get or set system data get or set system data you will get the data of the system okay information about the system or you can set also get or set process get or set process here get or set the process or a file or a device attributes you can set this is all about system calls okay the operating system provides a set of operations called system calls you can also call the system calls as the finally i can define system call like this the os provides some set of what i can call operations operations which are called system calls okay a system call interface is a description of the set of system calls implemented by operating system that is not needed now so this is all about system calls okay now for your work question is like this you have to write and send to me otherwise i will put absent i, I won't ask in ask that questions whether you have written or not i just uh, go on searching uh, it is came to me or not if it is not came so i just put absent in your attendance that's all and i will not ask you also why you are not submitting why you are not writing that i won't ask if you are not writing that's okay i will put absent if you written so i will put present that's all today's question is so what are the types of system calls types of system calls okay and explain and next one is uh, write about operating system modes this is explain you write okay so here it is 
मूव्स फाइन थैंक यू